I'm a certified financial planner. I have six kids of my own. I totally get when it comes to kids and money. And so that's how Busy Kids started, actually, is I got to figure out a way to get my kids motivated to earn money. So do some work, do some chores. And then once they get the money, they need to learn how to manage that money in a very balanced way. I, I didn't want to teach my kids how to get money and blow money because getting money and blowing money is easy. And everybody kind of knows how to do that. But you got to teach them in a balanced way way. And that's what I did with Busy Kid. The way Busy Kid works is essentially this. Parents sign up. They give chores to their kids. The kids do those chores. They mark them off, okay, as they do them. Um, and we keep track of all that. And then on a Friday, you're going to get a message from us that says, hey, it's payday. And you get to go in and approve all the stuff that they've done and then pay them. And all you do is push one button and approve the payday, just like a boss would approve payroll. And then that money comes into our system. And then we do the magic for you, which is we divide the money up into three main categories, save, share, and spend. Okay. And if you think about this, this is exactly what adults do. We go to work, we earn some money, and then we save it usually in like a 401k or something. Share, we, we, we share with charity or church, or something we care about. And then spend, we put it on a plastic card and we go out and buy stuff. Okay. That's what busy kid does for a kid. I sometimes call it your kid's first job with direct deposit. And then we split that money up. They can use some of the money and save to invest in fractional shares of stock. They can use some money and share to donate to charities. And then they can use the rest in spend to actually transfer onto a visa card and go spend it like the rest of us. So that in a nutshell is what Busy Kid provides to a family that wants to learn about work and money. So this is the most important thing I think you can teach your kids at an early age is how the stock market works, how investing works. Like it really has the ability to change their financial future in a really big way. And fractional shares are just the natural way to do this, okay? And so once you can get a kid to earn some of his own money and then go in start understanding the stock market. I think the best way they can learn how to understand the stock market is by actually just investing and doing it. Kids learn best by doing stuff. And so I can tell you um, when my kids earn money and then go and buy fractional shares of stock, I've got a couple of boys at home and one likes Disney, one likes Ford, like they know what's going on. If they own that stock, they own a little piece of that stock, they're going to pay attention to it. The most important thing is to let them actually invest in something, something that they like, something that they think is kind of cool. If they like the Tesla cars and they're pointing them out every time you're driving down the road, let them invest in Tesla. If they like Disney, if they like Amazon, they like whatever company they want, who cares? Let them invest in those companies so that they'll pay attention to them. Uh, another thing is we do it by brand in our system. So Almost nobody knows that like Berkshire Hathaway owns Dairy Queen, okay? But everybody knows what Dairy Queen is. So we let them see, oh, Dairy Queen. And that's something that they can go invest in. So let them invest in stuff they know, brands they care about, or think are cool, and they will pay more attention to their investments. We made this very easy for a family because that's what we need to do is just make this easy, okay? So kid goes, earns some money, money goes in the save bucket. The save area has all these stocks that they can go and browse by brand, figure out what they want. And then imagine this, a kid finding the stock that he wants, tapping on it, putting in the amount that he wants to buy. Let's say it's 10 bucks or 20 bucks. Okay. And then a message goes to the parent that says, Johnny wants to buy, Susie wants to buy $20 of Tesla. Okay. Whatever the stock is. Then the parent has the ability to approve that. Because we want the parents to be involved, but we don't want to just like overwhelm them. So all they do is approve that. And then the parent would get an email from our uh, partner stock file and they would go in and open the brokerage account and redeem the stock for them. So it makes it very easy to, for a kid to start learning, oh, all I have to do is go in there, find the stocks that I want, the things that I think are cool, put in the amount that I want, and then I get approval from mom and dad, and boom, my portfolio starts to build. And then all of a sudden, they have a very, like, they're, they're engaged in the market. They're engaged in 
wondering what's going on and why is it going on? And they keep track of this stuff because they own it. And it really is a powerful thing for kids to do. Okay, so we've made the sign up process very easy as well, right? So a parent would go download our app, sign up, put the family in there, right? Add a couple of kids and, uh, and then give them chores to do. That's the fun part for the parent because we want, hey, around our house, there's lots of stuff to do. And why do I have to do it all, right? So give your kids chores to do, um, let them earn some of that money. And then once they get the money, they can start practicing, okay? And practice makes perfect, right? So as they practice and learn this stuff, it really starts like the light bulbs start going on for them, okay? They start understanding what does it mean to invest? What does it mean to give back? Who should I be giving back to? And then most especially uh, in that spend area, we're going to put money onto a card and go spend it ourselves. Like that's super powerful when a kid can go out, slide that card and understand, holy smokes, I had to work for like two weeks to earn that money. Like that's a really powerful lesson. So we've made it very easy for a family to start getting involved with this together. Because at the end of the day, this is where they're going to learn this stuff. They're not necessarily going to learn it at school. Some schools have some courses. Some schools don't. Most schools don't. But even if they do, the, the source of the money is the parent. Sorry, that's just how it is, right? So this is why it has to happen in your home together as a family.